Welcome to the homework for lesson 24. This is module 4 of grade 2. Write your name here. And we're solving using mental math. <clears throat> if you can't solve mentally, then use place value chart and place value disks. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll draw chips for when the time comes. But the mental ones, I'll show you how to do them mentally if you can't think of a way to do it. Sometimes you get stuck after the first couple ones, but uh, th there are some tricks to doing it. And I'll, sh I'll just point them out to you, and they should make sense. 38 minus 8. Well, you can see you're just taking away all the ones. So you just have 30 left. And 38 minus 9. Well, if 38 minus 8 is 30, if I'm going to take one more away, I'm only going to have 29 left. <laughs> Now we have 138 minus 38. Well, you see I'm taking away the 38. I should still have the 100 left. And then we have 138 minus 39. So I'm taking away one more than 38 from the 138. I should have one less left. So I'll have 99 left. And this one looks even easier to begin with. We're taking away 20 from 30. But we have 100 also. So it's, a, it's not just 10 left. It's 110 that's left. And then 130 minus 30, we'll have the, all, the 100 left. We're taking away the 30. And here's 130 minus 40. Well, 130 minus 30 is 100. 130 minus 40 is we're taking away 10 more, so we should have 10 less left. So we should only have 90 left. And that's just a little mental warm-up to get you to think about the 10s and the 1s. In the digits. Now, using a place value chart and place value disks is the best way to do these, but most of us don't. We don't have those at home, so you can draw. What you can do for that is draw the uh, HTO charts with the chips, and we get a, we're talking about unbundling hundreds or tens when you have to, uh, when you don't have enough ones to do your subtraction. And this is the beginning of uh, what. Uh, what is called the the standard algorithm for subtraction, or also known as borrowing subtraction. So for 115 minus 50, looking at this, can you take away five tens from 115? Well, you don't really have five tens to take away, do you? So you have to take it from, you have, what you have to do is take apart the 100. You're not subtracting any 1s. So this is one where you could just think of, you know, how we did it with the number bonds, taking from 100. Right, we're going to take it from the 100, so we have to break up the 100 and think of it as 10 10s and take away 5 10s. And then we have 50 plus 15, right? We're going to have 65 left. And so what I did there was I had to I t I t took it from the hundred I had to break up the hundred there did I have to break up any tens and make ones because I didn't have to because I didn't subtract any ones so no I didn't unbundle a, a ten and now for this one I'm just going to draw the chart here on the side to show you what it looks like so we have a little H T O hundred twenty five. 100, two tens, and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. And I could cross out 57 from this. Well, right away I have a problem. Always start with the ones digits. Uh, I can't take away, I can't cross out seven ones because I don't have seven ones. So I have to unbundle a 10. Uh, and I, to draw that, it's going to be one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I can cross out seven, right? And I'll take it from this ten because I know there's going to be three left when I do. And then I have to cross out five tens. I don't have five tens. I only have one ten left. So I'm going to break up this hundred here to get ten tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then there, that's five tens. So what do I have left? I don't have any hundreds left. I have this ten and five more, so that's six tens and 
five, six, seven, eight, ones, 68. I broke, I unbundled the hundred right here. And I unbundled the 10. 88 minus 39. So to draw this one, A little cramped on this page. Use the back of another piece of paper. If you're going to draw these, 88. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 8 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I have to, to cross out 39. Look at the ones digits first, right? I need to cross out nine ones. And I don't have nine ones. I only have eight ones. So I have to unbundle a ten. And then make this into ten more ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I can cross out nine ones. And I'm going to have a one left. So now I can cross out my three tens and I have enough tens for that these two and that guy can go right there so let's see what I have left I have one two three four tens and one two three four five six seven eight nine ones forty nine and I didn't have a hundred to unbundle so no but I did unbundle a 10, yes. And now for this 186 minus 39, uh, it's going to be the same, isn't it? I'm still subtracting 89. Oh, but it's 86. So I'm really just going to have fewer ones, aren't I? Instead of 88, instead of having eight ones here, I'm going to have six ones. I'm still going to have to unbundle a 10. So this is really a very similar kind of problem. Uh, I'm not going to have to unbundle 100 because I get plenty of 10s. And But I will have to unbundle the 10 still. And I'm going to start out with, this is 186, so I'm still going to have that 100. And... I'll just have two fewer ones because I'm starting with two fewer ones. So then I'll have 47 left. 147. And that's just using the first one to figure out how to solve the second. 162 minus 85. And that's using some of the tricks that we used in the... That's kind of... It's going to be hard to work with. Using some of the tricks we used at the top of the page where we like, if we're subtracting tens and then we subtract a little bit more, we should have a little bit less left. H, T, O, 162, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, two ones. And eight, I'm going to subtract 85. That's five ones. And I don't have five ones again, so I'm going to unbundle this 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I can subtract five. That whole five group can go. And then I'm going to subtract eight. Tens. I don't have eight tens. I only have five right now. So I have to unbundle this hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tens, right? Then I'm going to cross out eight tens. So that's this whole five group and then three more there. Uh, so that leaves me with five, six, seven tens and Five, six, seven ones. So 
77. Did I unbundle a 100? Yes, I did. Did I unbundle a 10? Yes, I did. Or you could circle them. Now we're looking at 172 minus 76. Uh, might just want to draw this whole thing. But I can see this 72 and that 76 are pretty close. If it was 172 minus 72, that would be 100, right? Well, then this one, I'm only subtracting four more. So I should have four less than 100 left, which would leave me with 96. I can do that mentally. Uh, and I'm thinking, would I have to unbundle a uh, 100 to do this? Well, yes, because I don't still have the 100, right? There's only 96 left, so I must have broken up the 100. So I had to unbundle the 100. And did I unbundle one of the 10s? I would have had to because I'm subtracting 6 ones and I only started out with 2. So I would have had to unbundle a 10 also to get enough ones. And I can show this. It's going to be a little bit sloppy, but I can show this with an HTO chart. Down here, 100, 4, 5, 6, 7, 72. There's 172, so you can see right away, six ones, I don't have enough ones, so I have to unbundle this 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then I can cross out six ones. This five group can go, and that guy can go too. And now I need to cross out seven tens, but I don't. I can't. I only have six tens right now because I had to unbundle one, right? So I have to break up that hundred, just as predicted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now I can cross out 7 tens from this 10 group. You know, there's going to be 3 left when I take away 7 from it. So here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 tens. 9 tens and 6 this one, two, three, four, five, six, six ones. And you're probably not going to have room to do all that. You might have to use the back of the second page to have room to do to draw these HTO charts. I highly recommend you do that. Uh, in this video, I can't show the backs of pages because I don't have them. So use the back of the other page if you have one-sided pages. If you don't, then get another piece of paper. Okay. More of the same. 121 minus 89. Well, this would be a lot easier to do mentally. But we're thinking about how to do it with the disks, right? You can see we only have, right? Let me do it up here. H, T, O, 121, right? And then subtracting 89, that's nine ones. I can't cross. I only have one. I have to unbundle a 10 to get enough ones. So unbundle that guy right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I can subtract 9. I'm only going to have one of those left, right? And I have now I have to cross out 8 tens. And I don't have 8 tens. I only have 1. So I'm going to cross out that 100. Unbundle that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 100. 10 tens, I mean, for that 100. And I cross out 8 of them. I'm going to have 2 left. So there I have 2 tens. Oops, there's that other one up here. 1, 2, 3. I have 3 tens. Let me fix that. Very important to keep this organized so you don't miss your, mess up your count when you're done. I have 
three tens left, and I have two ones. And I unbundled a hundred, and I unbundled a ten, Unbu just like that. And now this one, you could do this one in your head, really. If you're subtracting 98, that's almost like subtracting 100. But you're going to, since it's two less, you'll have two more left, right? So uh, 131, if you're subtracting 100, you'd have 100 left. But, not, but add the two extra, like you're subtracting two more, so add two back. So you'd have... 33 left and you can tell when you do this you're going to have to unbundle a 10 because here you only have eight ones and you you start it you only have one one and you're subtracting eight so you have to break up a 10 to get more ones and you know you have to unbundle the hundred because you don't have a hundred left you only had one to start with right and so you don't have one here in your in your difference so you had to break it up because you don't still have it so you unbundled both. Now the 140 minus the 165. Anytime you have a zero in the ones place in your menu end, that's automatic. You have to unbundle tens because you don't have any ones to subtract. You know, unless you're subtracting zero. So you have to cross out five ones here, and you don't have any ones, so you have to unbundle a ten for that. And you're going to have to unbundle 100 here because you don't have enough 10s either. You need six 10s to cross out, and you only have four to begin with. So you're going to have to unbundle both. And now if you want to solve this, you can see that. If you want to solve this, you can do it this way. 140. You take 65 from 100, you're going to have 35 left. Plus the 40, you're going to have 75 here. And then you could use the same trick for this here. You can see the 100 minus 150 minus 56. Well, you're not going to have... If you subtract more than 50, you're going to have to break up the 100. Because you're not going to have enough of anything else. So you're going to have to break up the 100. And if you start with 0 and you're crossing out 6, you have to unbundle a 10. So you know that just from the beginning by looking at it. And we could do this. I'll draw it in an HTO chart. 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, tens. And that's it. And I cross out six ones. I don't have any ones, so I have to unbundle the 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I can cross out six ones all of that five group and that one more I'm gonna have four ones left do I have enough tens to cross out five tens I don't because I had to unbundle one of them that's why you always start with the ones digits uh, so I have to unbundle that hundred one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and I'm gonna cross out five of these there and you can see I have these four tens here and these five, so that's nine tens. I'm going to have 94. Hundred sixty-three minus seventy-eight. You can see right off if you have three ones and you're subtracting eight, you're going to have to unbundle a ten because it's the only way you're going to get enough ones to subtract eight ones. So there, you're going to have to unbundle a ten, and the hundred. You're going to have to unbundle this 100 too, because you can see right here, you could subtract 7 tens, you only have 6 tens, you're going to have to unbundle. So let's draw it. H, T, O, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 60, and then 3 ones, 1, Two, three. Don't draw the 78 because that's what you do when you add. We're going to cross out 78. So cross out eight ones. Don't have eight ones, so we have to unbundle a 10. That guy will unbundle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I can cross out eight ones. That's all but two of that 10 group I just drew. 
Okay, so that's the three I started with, plus the two more that are left. There's five ones left. Can I cross out seven tens now from the 78? The seven tens. I only have six. I don't even have six anymore, right? Because I just have one, two, three, four. I have five now because I had to unbundle one of them. So I only have five tens. I don't have enough tens. I have to break up this hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I'm going to cross out seven. I know from this ten group I'm going to have three left. So all my tens, I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens left. Eight. So 85 is what I have left. And then this last one here, the 136 minus 87. Well, looking at the ones digits, my menu end is six and my subtrahend is seven. So I already I'm subtracting more ones than I have to begin with. So I have to unbundle a 10 to get more ones. So I'm going to have to unbundle a 10. And I start with three tens and I have to subtract eight tens. I'm not going to have enough tens either. So I'm going to have to unbundle the hundred to get more tens. So I'm going to have to unbundle both to do this. And the way it looks on a HTO chart One hundred, three tens, one, two, three, four, five, six ones. Okay, so I'm going to cross out seven ones for the 87. I don't have seven ones, so I have to unbundle a 10 just as we thought. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cross out seven ones. I'm going to have three left from this 10 group I just drew. And now I have to cross out eight tens. I only have two tens, so I can't cross out ten, eight tens. I have to unbundle a hundred to get more tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I can cross out eight tens from this ten group. I know there's going to be two left. So here I have one. I have one, two. Three, four tens, and this is six, seven, eight, nine, forty nine. Now we have a word problem. I wrote over some of the words, but I can still make them out. 96 crayons in the basket are broken. The basket has 182 crayons. How many crayons are not broken? So we have... Uh, this is the whole basket, because there's more in the basket than the ones that are broken, right? Because you can't have more... The basket has 182, and 96 of them are broken. And these are the rest here. <clears throat> so this should be total. With, I should change the label. The, the B should be C for crayons and B for broken crayons. And these are the G for good crayons. So I have to do, I have to figure out 182 minus 96 and I can see there's <clears throat> it doesn't say what method I have to use to solve this you could use your chips and draw the chips but I'm gonna look at this and I'm gonna take from a hundred 96 minus a hundred I'm gonna have four left and I can add that to the 82 really easily Eighty-six. Eighty-six crayons are not broken.